You don't need a Tetris shot. Tetris. Tetrasize. Square. Rectangle. Trapezoid. Tetrazoid. <laughs> Nintendo introduces Tetris. Put a piece here. Put a piece there. Use your thumbs. Use your eyes. Find yourself Tetrasize. <laughs> now you're playing with power. Meet the animals during Marine World Africa USA's Winter Fest program. From now until mid March, you can be up close and personal with a variety of animals. Touch them, feed them, smell them, and love them this winter at Marine World. The park is open Wednesday through Sunday. Come on out and meet the animals. Channel 2, your Fox affiliate in the Bay Area. Slipping through the cracks, but these two gum shoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. When you need help, just call Ch -ch 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 Bandales. Rescue Ranger, Ch -ch -ch Bandales. When there's danger, no more it never fails. Once they're involved, somehow whatever's wrong gets solved. This program is sponsored by General Mills. Alright, that is the latest, greatest, number one man glowing hit! Honey Nut Cheerios! <laughs> yeah, I'm on the air here! Well, that's a sweet taste of honey! With the crunch is kinda nutty! Whoa. Did I hear honey and nuts? Part of this complete breakfast! Honey Nut Cheerios! It's a honey of an oak! Hi, I'm Rosalie. I don't know how to do tune-ups, brakes, or general repair, but what I do know is how to get Sequoia graduates good jobs. Look at this. Calls from employers wanting our graduates to go to work. And the money is really good in most cases. Car dealerships, shops, stores, and more. Would you like one of these jobs after you graduate? Then better call this number now. Get your training at Sequoia, then come and see Rosalie. We'll work to get you the job for which you're qualified. I mean it. Wild California at the California Academy of Sciences. Today at 4.30 on Channel 2. you want to help someone but if they're different from you it can be very hard that's what happened to us today when a bird landed in a tree in our forest i've never seen a bird like that before why is it visiting our forest it probably came from the north and is flying south because winter's coming that's called migrating <laughs> Winters are warmer in the south. Uh-oh. Look! Hmm. Oh. Do you think the bird had an accident? What do we do? We could ask the bird if it needs help. Hello! Hi! Do you need help? I think we're scaring it. Hmm. Time for a hop think. Question. How can we help the bird? We can't until the bird tells us what's wrong. Maybe it thinks we're angry because we're shouting at it. Let's get closer. Then we wouldn't have to shout to be heard. Let's do it. Hello, I'm Ma 
house. We want to help you. <laughs> it's not working. Hello? What you doing? Playing a game? No, we're trying to help this birdie, but it won't talk to us. Oh, maybe it doesn't understand talking. Try something else. Like talking like a bird. But bird talk sounds like singing. Thumbika, let's sing. Now? Right here? Sing what? What we want to say. Only instead of saying it, we'll sing it. Like this. <clears throat> Little bird, don't be afraid. We are friends and we want to help. Can you tell us what is wrong? We can't help if we don't know. I think it's working. Tell us, tell us, tell us! <coughs> you must learn I'm a turn and I live far away. I came forth from the north where it snows all day. Oh. But snow and ice isn't nice so I could not stay. And I was on my way to the south today. I was high in the sky, but the winds were strong. I was tossed, I was lost, everything went wrong. Silly me hit this tree, now I can't go on. Cannot fly far or long with these feathers gone. Kio, let Tommy sing to you, hello. I need help, yes that is so. A sad story, yes, I know. And that's the tale of Tommy Turn. Thank you all for your concern. Thorny horns, that's an awful... Oopsie, I forgot I have to sing. Thorny horns, that's an awful story. But I think that you are very brave. What I am is very thirsty. Is there water I can drink? Yeah! We're Amber, Coral, Kate, and Pearl. Each one of us is a Gibble Goose girl. We live at the pond not far away. So come and drink with us today. Edwina, Thunder, Rabbit here. And you must be Mouse, that much is clear. I'll give you a ride. Tommy, we have to do something to help him go south for the winter. But what do we know about flying? We need a hop think with everybody, including Tommy. Sing a hop think? I guess it would help Tommy. It might be fun. Yeah, let's do it. You're welcome to join in our hop think. And come up with different ideas. Then we'll discuss each suggestion. Until the best answer appears. Why don't you stay for the winter? We'll help make it cozy and fun. <laughs> That's so kind, but I must keep migrating. It's my nature to follow the sun. Could Rabbit make a new invention to help Tommy fly through the sky? Hmm? Thumbika! I think that's the answer. But I'll need things to use when I try. Why don't we all go collecting to find things? Come on, let's go! Can you see anything? Only reeds. Reeds look like feathers. Thumpika. Hey! Oh, oh. I found bark! I found moss! Thumpika! Thumpika! 
Just do finding. Ooh, Tommy's feathers. How sad. I wouldn't want to lose my feathers. Of course, I don't have any feathers. But if I did, I wouldn't want to lose them. Must do finding. Must do finding. Poor Tommy. He must be so worried he can't migrate. And he must feel lonely. Everything is so different for him here. Maybe we should remind him that we're his friends. When you're sad and afraid and you feel all alone With problems that don't seem to end Look around, you will find you're not on your own Not as long as you've got a good friend We'll stand by your side to help and to guide on your friends You can depend we will be there to care and share, so remember you have friends. Remember you have friends. We're back! Hey guys, I have vines. We have wreaths. I couldn't find anything. We have enough. I wish I had found something. We can use birch bark to fill the space. Tie it with a vine to hold it in place. It's tight and it's stiff and it will not bend. This won't work for my wing to mend. Oh, sorry, it's too tight. Oh, what a funny sight. Oh, 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 need an idea bright. Won't give up till we get it right. Let's see what happens with this piece of moss. It's much too light and the wind will toss. What about these reeds if we tie them on? Trouble is reeds are not that strong. Oh, moss is much too light. Oh, what a funny sight. Oh, 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 need an idea bright. Won't give up till we get it right. Won't give up till we get it right. My horn! I've got it! Follow me! Stay with Tommy so he doesn't feel alone. Okay. <laughs> Look! Use these. They'll make good feathers because they are feathers. We could tie them back on Tommy's wing. Thumpika! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Thumpika! <laughs> it's working! You tied the feathers so tight they're staying in place! Well done, Thunder! See me soar like before, wings are strong and straight, didn't fall, thank you all, now I won't be late, what you have done, everyone, I appreciate! Bye, and thank you. Goodbye. We'll stand by your side to help and to guide on your friends. You can depend. We will be there to care and share, so remember. My friend Rabbit will return after these messages. Go ahead, you can give it a swirl. It's the only oatmeal in the whole wide world. You can squeeze out the fun. You can give it a swirl. Make a strawberry smile, make a milk chocolate swirl. Oatmeal swirl. You can give it a swirl. Fun to me. Fun to eat. Six great flavors. Oatmeal swirlers. The swell and fun part of this complete breakfast. Oatmeal swirlers. You can give it a swirl.
This is the Sequoia Institute Job Training Bulletin. This week, the Sequoia Job Placement Assistance Office received calls from employers looking for qualified graduates to work in these fields. Auto dealership technicians, repair shop mechanics, tune-up technicians, city auto truck maintenance. Call Sequoia if you're looking for the training that will help you to one of these good-paying jobs. Call now. Learn how most Sequoia students receive financial aid and get the training for their state license exam. Classes are forming, so call Sequoia now. And now, back to my friend, Rabbit. Oh, hi! Have you ever had a difficult problem that you didn't know how to solve? Sometimes, remembering how you solved other problems can be a big help. That's how we helped Hazel today, when she had a great big problem. <laughs> it's getting cold. Yep. <laughs> what was that? Over there. Oh, oh no! Hazel's acorns! Wow! Quivering whiskers! All the snow and ice made the branch so heavy, it fell. And Hazel's acorns are bouncing all over the place. Hazel put those acorns there so she would have food for the winter. What do we do? We need to tell her. Come on. Hazel! Hazel, wake up! Hi, what you doing? We're trying to wake Hazel up. Oh, I do waking. Ah, like an acorn! I'm awake, I'm awake! Stop thumping already! Hazel, quick! You have to come with us! <gasps> This is bad! Bad! More than bad! This is a disaster! A catastrophe! All summer and fall I collect acorns to eat in the winter, and now they're gone. But they're still here. They're just under the snow. But how will we find them? They must be scattered everywhere. You may be standing on one right now. Oops! We'll help you find them, Hazel. But how? Time for a hop thing. Hmm. Question. How can we find Hazel's acorns? Rabbit and I saw lots of them fall around here near the tree. We can't dig up all the snow. There's too much. Maybe we could blow it away. Whoa! Oh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> There's too much snow to move. What we need is a great big carrot-tastic idea. But we can do it. Remember last summer when a tree fell on Rabbit's sleeping hole and Rabbit couldn't get in? I want to sleep in my own cozy, warm, dark, dry, safe, quiet sleeping hole. But this big thing's in the way, and I can't think of how to move it. I'm so tired, I can't think of anything. It's a good thing you weren't inside your sleeping hole when the tree fell down. How would you have gotten out? Easy. I would have just dug a new way out. Quick, it what? Acorns, that's it! What's it? Instead of trying to move the great big tree that's blocking the way into your sleeping hole, why don't you just dig a new way in? Thumpika! That's it! I'll dig a new way in! Yeah! And we can help! <laughs> and with all of us digging, Rabbit soon had a new tunnel down to his sleeping hole. <laughs> and I finally got to sleep. I sleep so much better under the ground. That's what we have to do here. We have to tunnel under the snow. How? We're all too big. I'm not. In winter, mice tunnel under the snow all the time. Thumpika! That's it. Mouse can burrow under the snow and find the acorns. Thorny horns. That'll take all winter. No, it won't. Mouse can take these twigs with him, and when he finds an acorn, he can push the twig up through the snow, so we'll know where they are. That's a carrot-tastic idea. Let's, Let's do, do it! it. Ah, ah. Oh, there's one. hip hop a -roo. <laughs> I see one. <laughs> well, toot my horn. Ooh. <laughs> Easy. Up. Go up. Hmm. <laughs> Something's tickling my foot. 
good. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mouse. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, oh. breakfast, lunch, dinner. Remembering what we did before really helped us find Hazel's acorns. I just hope we found enough. Another day, another day, and five on my birthday. And, uh-oh. What's wrong? Uh, uh, we didn't find enough to last me all through winter. That's because a lot of your acorns hit this branch and bounced really far. I can't tunnel under the whole forest. I'm tunneled out. We need another caratastic idea. I don't mean to be upset. Not after you've all helped me so much. That's okay, Hazel. We all get upset. I got really upset when I lost Mossy, remember? You didn't lose Mossy, Mouse. <laughs> I did. I flipped it on my flipper, and none of us could find it. Problem is that Mossy is lost. What can we do? We tried following Flippy stuff. That didn't work. So then we looked in the grass and in the forest, and now we're back here. Oh, it's all too much. Hmm. Are you sure you looked everywhere, high and low? Thumpika, that's it. We looked low, now we need to look high. Mouse, look where you're sitting. Huh? He's on the flipper. You don't mean... Yes, we'll flip you, Mouse. That way you can look around from way up there. And see where Mossy landed. Flip me? Flip me? Ooh, that sounds like... Ah! Don't worry, Mouse. I'll catch you. <laughs> Mossy! I saw Mossy. He's up in the tree. <laughs> if we hadn't flipped Mouse up on the flipper, we'd still be looking for Mossy. Maybe we could do something like that now. Uh, flip Mouse? No, but flipping me in the same way we flipped Mossy worked. So maybe if we drop these acorns on the branch... In the same way the acorns dropped before, we'll know where they bounced. You want to drop my acorns? I don't think so. We could lose them, too. No, we won't, Hazel. It's not snowing anymore. We'll see the holes they make. You need to find more acorns, don't you? Well, if it's the only way... Carrot-tastic! Ready! Ready! Ready. I see it! Uh, got it! And I found two more! Wondrous whiskers! This is gonna work! Uh-oh! <laughs> we came up with this great idea because we remembered what we did before. Maybe now we'll have enough acorns. Almost enough, but not quite. We still need to find a few more. We saw some roll down the hill. Let's look there. Okay. Last one to the bottom of the hill is, uh, uh, uh the last one to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> I can't tunnel here. The ground is too bumpy. Nothing. They could have rolled anywhere. I think I'm all out of caratastic ideas. Maybe we should take a hop stop. We all need a break. Good. I'm going to roll up a snow thunder. <laughs> How can we take a hop stop? It's really important to find my acorns. Remember last spring when we were stuck in the mud? It was really important to get unstuck. But we took a hop stop then. Hazel isn't here. Maybe she'd hear us. Hazel's probably in a tree collecting acorns for the winter. We could sing! How will singing get us out of the mud? Uh, I don't know. But it's fun, and I don't have any more ideas. Maybe Thunder's right. Sometimes it's good to take a hop stop. It helps you get new ideas. We are stuck. <sighs> out of luck. <sighs> in the mud. In a puddle, in the middle of a river Mouse's whiskers are a quiver With no one near Who can hear If we all call out Loud and clear 
Hop stops are fun. And then you think of good ideas afterwards. Yes. <laughs> we did get out of the mud. Maybe a hop stop is a good idea. We could all help Thunder with his snow thunder. Cool. Okay. What's that? A pine cone. How did that get there? It must have been buried in the snow. And it got stuck in the snowball when Thunder rolled over it. <gasps> buried in the snow. Just like my acorns. That's how we'll find them. <laughs> Roll it over there. Hush. Not too fast. Told you hop stops were good. <laughs> Remembering things we did before really helped us come up with carrot-tastic ideas to find Hazel's acorns. And because we worked together and didn't give up, Hazel has plenty to eat all winter. My friend Rabbit will return after these messages. Look to them. Would have made the shot if I hadn't practiced through breakfast. Ah, then fruit flavor should be your aim. Follow my nose. It's a fast break. Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavor. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. Have some. Oh, boy. It's a slam dunk. You can capture two cans cram and explain in 3D. Kellogg's Fruit Loop holograms. Three different 3D jungle adventures. You can collect them all. Now you can enter the Handy Snacks Sega Genesis Sweepstakes. Handy Snacks, Handy Snacks. You could win this cool t-shirt. Or even a Sega Genesis video system with color TV and 30 game cartridges. Look for game cards in specially marked boxes or a P.O. Box 4028, Blair, Nebraska 68009. Thousands will play, hundreds will win, but enter today. Handy Snacks. The game ends soon. Gee, Ronald, my new car turns into a robot. Great, let's see. Wow, Grimace, did you know I can turn into a McDonald's? Uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, I'm turning into a McDonald's. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> These books are totally awesome. McDonald's has Berenstain Bears stories, punch-outs, even bears to color. You get one activity book or story book with each Happy Meal you buy. Eight new Berenstain Bears books at McDonald's. your record breakers at home on the record breaker super h rank no, right test them tune them tweak them no. race them head to head the super h track has a fair start gate go, go, go. and a daredevil crossover whoa yeah and here's record breakers racing tip number eight connect your track with your friend's track for record breakers neighborhood competition yeah get them record breaker i win world of Toast Crunch. But first, we better taste it. It is cinnamony and sweet. Crunchy, too. That means it's cinnamonchy crunchy. Do <laughs> something to eat in all the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Smile. <laughs> you just wanted that taste of real cinnamon toast. With a crunch. It's part of this complete breakfast. Everybody goes for the cinnamonchy crunchy taste. Oh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This program is sponsored by General Mills. You know, predators aren't bad. But they're in trouble because of poaching and shrinking habitats. To learn more, write Predators. National Wildlife Federation, Washington, D.C., 20036. Fight poverty. Join the other side. Silver Spoons, today at 5 on Channel 2.
monsters. Watch what they do. They mix their tails and their middles, too. It's a monster mix-up at McDonald's. There's four mix-up monsters to mix. One in every McDonald's Happy Meal. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Alphabets for you and me. You can spell wrong. You can make it roll. Take a swim in your milk. Alphabet cereal is the fun part of this good for you breakfast. Mm -hmm. Only Alphabet says. Films Jakers will return after these messages. Play-Doh Make-A-Meal presents the Cookin' Out Playset, Sub Shop, and Rainbow Pack sold separately. I'm grilling all my favorite foods from hot dogs to steak. Frying up some burgers, toasting marshmallows. They're great. With Play-Doh, you can make a meal impossible to beat. The Play-Doh Fun Factory and Rainbow Pack sold separately. Down it goes, out it comes. That's how Play-Doh makes it fun. Fun Factory. Makes more than before. Hearts, bars, snakes, and more. Fun Factory! Okay, Chip, when you hear the cookie crisp train, give me the signal. Okay, boss. Cookie crisp, cookie crisp, cookie crisp. Cookie crisp can't resist cookie crisp cereal. <laughs> cookie crisp! That's a well-trained dog. Now with extra chips, cookie crisp, here we come! Uh-oh. You get a drop in, boys. Too bad you won't be enjoying any cookie crisp cereal. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh, go to no other cereal tastes like this. Oh. Cookie crisp. And now, back to Andy Films Jakers. Grandpa. Seamus. I. Oh. Come in, come in. Ah, oh, what's troubling you, boy? Your face is longer than a wet week. I drew this picture, Grandpa. It's not very good, huh? Did you do the best you could? Well, then, it's just fine. That's what Mom says, too. Check this out, Grandpa. Jakers? That's a beauty show. How come I can't draw like that? I'm just more talented than you, I guess. In art, you're more talented, Sean. But no one can write a better story than Seamus can. Yeah. We all have our special talents, you know. Your sister Meg is a whiz at maths. And your mother was a mighty fine softball player when she was your age. She still is. Oh, yeah. Each of us has things we do well and things that are not so easy for us. That's something that I had to learn the hard way. And I learned it from a donkey. You can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. That little bit of wisdom is a well-known Irish proverb. Now, who thinks they know what the proverb might mean, hmm? Uh, uh, oh, yes, right here. <laughs> uh, 
anyone else? All right. Gussie. You can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. And that means that, um, <laughs> it means, um, uh, that donkeys and racehorses, uh, well, you know, um, they can't make things. Piggly? Yes, Mr. Hornsby? You can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. <laughs> sure you can. Well, that wasn't really the question, Piggly. The question is, what does the proverb mean? Oh, uh, well, I guess it means that a donkey can never run as fast as a racehorse. He's not built that way. <laughs> well thought out, Piggly, well thought out. But I don't believe it. I think you could make a donkey into a racehorse if you really wanted to. Well then, perhaps that is what you write about in your essay, hmm? Essay? I'd like all of you to write a short essay on what this proverb means to you, hmm? Oh. Oh. Two pages should do it now. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. Oh, a two-page essay. That'll take forever to write. Not if you write big, it won't. I think I'll skip off home and start my essay right now. The sooner you start, the sooner you're finished. Ah. That's just another one of those silly proverbs. They don't really mean anything, you know. I'm telling you, they do. I could make a donkey into a racehorse. No, you can't. I can too. Sure, there's nothing to it. Oh, I'd sure like to see that, so I would. Okay, then. Come on and watch me turn our donkey Finnegan into the fastest racehorse in all of Tara. Well, what are we waiting for, Farney? Let's go! And this is the donkey you're gonna turn into a racehorse? Ha! Not even you can do that, Piggly. Oh. I thought it was gonna be so good. Hold on now. He just looks slow because he's sleeping. Wait until I wake him up and get him running. Well, maybe I should let him finish his farty winks first. Right. We'll wait then. <laughs> Oh, he's awake! Uh-uh. If you want it, you're gonna have to run for it. Love apples. Wait till you see how fast he'll chase us for him. 
We're off them! <laughs> grass, and the donkey gets fruit. And look at that. The chicken gets spaghetti from the earth. Earth spaghetti. Who knew? Would you look at that? I can't eat this. What if I eat him and his friends come looking for him? Worse. What if they find him? Crawl free, buddy. You know, someday I may be in trouble and that little squirmy guy might save my life. Yeah, I don't buy it either. It took a bit of work, but I finally convinced my friends to stick with me the rest of the afternoon. Dan and as usual came up with a new plan and a book. The Total Racehorse Manual. It says here that a racehorse must be fed the proper food, including plenty of oats. said, an overfeeding of oats can actually make an animal too frisky. I don't think that's going to be a problem here, Piggly. Uh, uh, still, uh, I better put these oats away for today. Uh, we can give him more tomorrow, before we start his training. Oh, there you go now, Finnegan. He needs his rest now. I think I'll sing him something to help him sleep. Good idea, Fernie. Oh, hush a bye, bye, little donkey. Go to sleep so peacefully. In the morning you'll be rested. And a race horse you will be. And a race horse you will be. Anti films Jake will return after these messages. Golden Grams presents. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. More of the Golden Boy. When a sweet swirl of honey hits a big bunch of Graham Cracker Crunch, you're not just good. No, please. You're golden. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, no. Golden Grams, the golden part of your complete breakfast. You're not the good, you're golden. All new Pocket Power Series 2. Power the pass in your pocket. Whip it out of your pocket and watch the skies for the flying saucer that really flies. Break out the speedboat, have a walk to 
race. There's a cool water gun you can aim at three ways. The hot drag race the streets across the floor. You got the first, so I'll hear some more. You pocket powers are heading for you. It's pocket power series two. Power the facts in your pocket. Collect them all, each so separately, new from Tyco. When they asked me to walk with these, it was tough. Sometimes I fell down. They asked me to get right back up and try again. Today, I get to school on my own. Now, all I'm asking you to do is push a button. Welcome to the 1990 Bay Area broadcast of the Easter Seal Telethon. Your telethon hosts are Eric Green, Terry Come Lowry. on, I know you can do it. Plan to watch the telethon starting Sunday, March 4th at 8 a.m. to tell you that the next morning I was ready and eager to get started on our project again. Jakers! Finnegan must have eaten all these oats. means he'll be full of energy and raring to go today. Oh, easy there, boy. Easy. Oh, no. I forgot. Dad has to take Finnegan out to deliver the milk. Whoa, whoa. Finnegan. Dad, wait. Don't. Whoa. I tell you, I've never seen anything like it. Oh, the coach made that old donkey run faster than any racehorse I'd ever seen before or ever seen since. Like the lightning he was. <laughs> faster than lightning. Grandpa! Okay. Maybe not as fast as all. Dad! What is going on here, Piggly? Oh, uh, well, you see, uh, I was doing my homework yesterday. And? Uh, and, uh... I was trying to turn Finnegan into a racehorse. A racehorse? Um, right. So I, uh, you, you know, I brushed him down and made sure he got lots of rest. And he had some extra oats. Extra oats? So, that's why he was so frisky this morning. And spent a day's worth of energy in three minutes? And now doesn't seem to want to deliver milk. Uh, sorry, Dad. Sorry is good. But someone will have to help me deliver the milk. Okay, flock, who wants oats? They give you lots of energy. Ha cha cha. Okay, forget energy. They make your wool all nice and fluffy, like mine. I don't suppose anyone cares that these oats taste incredibly delicious. I had to open my mouth. It was becoming obvious that we needed a bit of expert advice if we were ever going to succeed in my mission. And who knew more about horses than Farney's dad? The village blacksmith. Hola, niños, bienvenidos. What brings you inside on a beautiful day like this? Can we ask you something, Papa, please? Por supuesto, go right ahead. Papa used to be the blacksmith for the fastest horses in all of Spain. Well, uh, you see, we have this uh, horse, and we want to make him run faster. But this horse of yours, Piggly, does it already run fast? I wouldn't exactly use the word fast. Uh, uh, mm, or run. Or horse. You know, racehorses are very well taken care of. 
always well groomed and given only the finest food and freshest water. Fresh water? Uh -huh. Food? Hey, fresh water? Yeah. Oh. But it's also very important for a racehorse to have the right shoes. Shoes? Oh, see, see. Ordinary horseshoes will not do. He must have special shoes for running. Special shoes for running. Oh, Jerry Mac, would you look at those shoes? Those shoes are definitely special. Ah, they're never gonna work. And why not? They're on the wrong feet. Oh, come on then. Let's take them out and give them a run. I guess this is what they call feeling your oats. I wonder what happens when we run out of gas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. Uh, a little help here, please. Hello? Help needed here. Hello? What am I saying? They're all passed out. I'm stuck. <laughs> help! Help! Watch out, Fernie. I don't want to run you over on our way out. Oh, thanks, Piggly. On your mark. Get set. Go! Fun, but I think I'll just go home now and take a bath. Uh, me too, except for the bath part. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! Ah, well, that's it now. I give up on that donkey. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Jakers, look at you. You've gone and got yourself stuck in there, haven't you? <laughs> Let's get you out of there. What are we gonna do with you? <laughs> okay, Finnegan. Give it a try! Great job, Finnegan! You make a lousy racehorse, but a grand hero! Come on, let's go get you some of those extra oats. Great! He gets oats? And I get nothing but a sore rump. Hey now, Donnan, did you get your homework done? Of course I did. But I don't think Piggly did. He was too busy working with that crazy donkey all weekend. All right, let's settle down now, everyone. <clears throat> Last Friday, I asked you all to consider the proverb, you can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, Gussie. I heard that Piggly Wings has some very interesting thoughts about that proverb. Grand! I'd love to hear them, Piggly. Uh, well, uh, uh, you see, uh, this weekend I uh, uh, tried to prove that the old proverb was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, class. <clears throat> I see. Go on, Mr. Winks. What I learned is that no one can change a donkey into a racehorse. Not even me. And sure, why would you ever want to? Uh, donkeys are great, just the way they are. Uh, so, what does the proverb mean to you then, Piggy? Well, uh, it means we all have things we do well, and things we don't do so well. And that's okay. <laughs> 
Thank you, Piggly. Oh, and I do well at talking, and not so well at writing. So that's why I didn't write any of this down. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it as best I can. So you see, I, I finally understood that Finnegan did well what Finnegan did well. And when it came to running, he did the best he could. And that was just fine. Of course, now, that doesn't mean Sean the artist here can't show you a few tricks to help you make your drawing a bit better. Right. Or that Seamus the writer can't help me by writing my school report. Nice try, Sean. Oh, well, it was worth the shot. Come on, Seamus, let's go draw some more pictures. Anti Films Jake will return after these messages. Capricorn cereal! Stay right ahead! Hmm, something is up, and it looks like. The Soggies! Let's take off with that tasty spin crunch! Captain Crunch, they pinched breakfast! Hmm, <laughs> those Soggies are out of line! <laughs> Good thing I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what goes up must come down. Yeah! Heaven Crunch cereal is a tasty part of a complete breakfast. Fully flies for the birds. Somebody said to me, uh, you know, that they were kind of down on their luck uh, and needed a direction in life, needed a place to go. Uh, you know, I would, I would say, suggest to them go to Sequoia training in the automotive field. I really enjoy coming to the school. They teach you really well here. You know, I, I feel really good about it, about Sequoia. Call Sequoia Institute now for facts on day and evening classes, financial aid for those who qualify, and job opportunities after graduation. is KTVU, Channel 2, your Fox affiliate in the Bay Area. Here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons, hoping to find we're two of a kind, make it a go. You know, it happened right here 20 years ago. I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. I'd like to teach the world to the sing. world to come. Can't beat the feeling. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Chocolate wafers, chocolate cream, peanuts, and milk chocolate. Hershey's Bar None. 
for people with a passion for chocolate. Trust us to treat you right. Here at Stevens Creek Toyota, that promise has made us number one in Toyota sales in all of Northern California for three years running. Prices like this. Tough Toyota trucks, 6688 1990 Camry Luxury Sedans, $99.75. Economy Tercel EZs, $59.95. Corolla Sedans, only $79.75. Trust us to treat you right. So for big savings on new Toyotas, come see us at Stevens Creek Toyota San Jose. Hi, I'm Joan London, and I read something that convinced me that Beach Nut Stages baby food is the best. They're labels. I became a Beach Nut mother because only Beach Nut Stages has unique quality ingredients like Chiquita bananas and Regal Imperial carrots. I wanted only the very best for our daughter. And no modified tapioca starch like you'll find in other leading brands. So give your baby Beach Nut Stages the right food at the right stage. Compare labels yourself. There is a difference with Beach Nut Stages. Ooh. 